We're all familiar with the anecdotal story of the very irate passenger who arrives to the gate too late to catch the plane, berates everybody harshly, doesn't get on, and the plane crashes. He's very, very happy he got there late. This week's parasha also speaks about someone who was not irate but very disappointed that he didn't get there on time. That person was Moses. He wanted to enter the promised land. God said no for many reasons and he pleaded with God, please let me go. The point however is the plane didn't crash. Joshua led the Jewish people into Israel. So why was it that Moses was refused? So the spiritual teachings inform us that Moses and the nature of his soul was so great that if he would have entered the holiness of the promised land, Mashiach would have arrived immediately. Now, what's wrong with that? However, by having the delay of some thousands of years of our trials and tribulations, of our racking up points upstairs, the way that Mashiach will arrive and the absolute miracles that will occur will be far superior than would have been the case had Moses entered the Promised Land. Therefore, we learn very, very carefully. Not everything that occurs appears to be what it is. Remember, the ultimate outcome is always good, even if it doesn't seem so.